Hi everyone. I wanted to go over my 2024 goals with you guys. As you know from my series of videos, I've been working on them a long time and I completed them yesterday and I wanted to share them with you. Okay, so I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's. I hope you guys, I'd love to hear what your goals are, so please include them below. I divided my goals into five sections. So family, optimal health, financial budgeting, self and personal, and business. So I am going to go over these with you. Give me a sec just to write them in and then we'll go over them. Okay, you guys, I'll finish erasing all that later and get it all cleaned up. So to go over family goals, <clears throat> this didn't turn out as well as I thought it would in my head, but that's all right. Consistency, not perfection. One, no regrets with mom and dad. As I had mentioned before in previous videos, this has been my number one goal for years. So no regrets with them. Two, my second family goal is to strengthen my fam my relationships with my family through time and kindness. And I put under here some different methods that I plan on for doing this so far. And obviously I'm gonna have to review this quarterly so that, because <clears throat> things will change. But one is a family trip to Belize. You guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. So Aaron and I went a couple years ago to Belize and it was on our 30th wedding anniversary because we had never been on a honeymoon. We just didn't have the money when we were younger and we decided that when we were older, we would take a honeymoon when we could afford it. So I did, we did, and it was a blast. We went to Belize. This was the first trip we'd ever done that wasn't medically related. And so it was just for fun and it was amazing. And I really wanna share that with my kids. My kids have never been out of country and we have not had a family trip in way too long. Um, there's been un, un, there's been circumstances beyond our control that has prevented that. I won't get into that now, but when I tell you that this has been my goal for years, I cannot even tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, how emotionally attached I am to this goal. To have all my family in one place, it is, it is, Man, I could die right after that and I would have done my whole bucket list. That might not make sense to you guys because you don't understand <clears throat> all the things behind it, but this is it. And man, whatever I have to do to achieve it, I'm gonna achieve it. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> uh, weekly sleepovers with the grandkids. So this is one of the ways that I'm planning on doing. So I put the ideas underneath for each of the goals. So this is the one of the ways I'm planning on spending time with the grandkids. Monthly lunches with grandkids. I pick them up from school once a month and um, take them out to lunch and then bring them back. Prayers. I did this with my kids when they were little too. And I really enjoyed it. Um, prayers with my grandkids. That. Man, if you've never heard little kids say prayers, it's the best. And so they take turns saying them. Finding complete daily acts of kindness. So <clears throat> since my goal is strengthening my family through time and kindness, 
I just want to find little things that I can do. I have a favorite saying that I used to do all the time in business, which is see a need and fill it. That's one of the ways that brings me joy. So that's on there. My savings challenges associated with this section of my goals are kids because I'm always running out of money, taking them out to lunch and, and doing things with them. So I need to buff up. I need to do a savings challenge for that. Belize obviously and I'll get into my Belize goals later and the and everything that has to go with it but that would be too much for this video um, Chelsea's wedding need to save for that and Ethan we are gonna have some costs coming up for Ethan and Christmas Ethan is my son okay and how I'm gonna track this because I told you guys I find that when I track don't track I I fail so each of my sections has a way for tracking it. Tracking, I'm going to do daily. I'm going to have time and kindness, prayers, in mom and dad, and meals. And um, weekly, sleepovers, tasks needed for the trip. Like we're going to need to um, buy the tickets. We're going to need to make the reservations. We're going to need to make sure my sister can come out to watch um, my mom and dad so that we can go. I've already talked to her and she already said that she's going to try to reserve those dates. And ish. right now we're hoping for the first two weeks of December. And um, refill meds. Mom and dad have dementia, as I'm sure you know. So um, if their meds aren't filled and if I don't remind them, they don't take them. Dad doesn't take them anyway because he's kind of sassy. But anyway, mom's calendar, once again, dementia, they don't remember from day to day what they're doing and where they need to be and their appointments and what we're, what's going on. So I make sure that mom's calendar is filled each week with all the things we're going to do that week. Monthly lunches with the kids and mom's flowers. Okay. So my mom, when we built on their house, I told you guys we built on a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage home for them onto our house. And we did some landscaping in front, which is a flower bed and some grass. And because it kind of goes to the driveway after that. And mom's flower bed, she loves to go outside when the weather's warm and look at it. And so I know this this won't exactly apply for right now because you guys, we were two degrees in the morning the other day. So we have snow, that's not gonna apply for right now. But I need to put it on here so I don't forget when the time comes. She loves to sit out and look at her flowers so I make sure I deadhead them at least twice a week and that um, I do all the pruning and everything like that. So it could be under weekly, but I put it under monthly anyways. Quarterly. I'm not sure what these are yet, but I'm leaving it open to fill it in. Yearly prune trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have fruit trees all over our property. I think we have 20 lining the border between us and our neighbors. And then our whole front area, we have a turnaround in front of our house. And this whole front area is more fruit trees. I figure if I got to keep something alive, I want something back out of it. That may be selfish, but it also keeps me motivated to take care of them. Well, my dad, we used to live next to a pear orchard when I was growing up. And he he pruned all the pear trees. It was a church pear orchard, and he would volunteer and go do all the pear trees. I mean, we're talking acres and acres and acres of pears and apples. And he knows how to prune, and he loves to prune. Well... With everything setting on with old age, his pruning job is not quite there. So, <laughs> um, two years ago, he went to our fruit trees and pruned them. And I kid you not, guys, the branches coming off the trunk were about this long. Because he remembered, pruning, I think it's when he used to prune back my mom's roses to real short. And they'd come back, well, fruit trees are not the same. So... I always ask him not to prune the fruit trees. Now, when he did, did we get mad? No, of course not. In fact, my husband had a great attitude. He's like, well, there's that. I guess if they survive, then they survive. If not, then we'll just buy new trees. So he has a great attitude over things that, you know, little silly things that my parents do. Like my husband has, we have a big greenhouse, a dome greenhouse on our property. 
and my dad likes to go out and putter in it and do things and that's great well he was pruning back my grapes in it and he accidentally cut all the cords to Aaron Solar that he has hooked up for <laughs> for the greenhouse so there was that and once again Aaron was like well that's okay probably needed to be replaced anyway such a great attitude you guys I am so lucky with the guy I have I mean he is very type A and he's very analytical but he has a kind heart you guys and he has shown so much love and kindness towards my parents um, things have been expensive we built their addition during COVID and the prices increased as you guys all know on building materials they doubled everything happened so he he funded the project I took out one loan which um, I'll get to you guys with in one of my next videos and um, but other than that he just kept pulling and pulling and pulling from his business because he knew how important it was to me and um, he's just an awesome guy right we've been together for over 30 years and I couldn't have picked a better one so I think I'm gonna break this up into groups I'm just gonna do each section in a video that way it's not too long because one of my goals this year is not to have long videos please let me know if this was helpful to you and I will see you in just a few minutes when I record the next section thanks bye